Hello! Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where Bobby and I are on the hunt for science so we can science. do cooler things than just pop around on Kerbin. We really want to leave this planet. We want to get off this godforsaken rock. And go to a different godforsaken rock. Yes. Actually, I got this wonderful shot of, of the moon against the uh, the southern ice caps. Or the yep. mun, excuse me. I should, while I'm right. out here, do a temperature scan. Log temperature data. Keep that data, please. All right, we are pretty close to our apoapsis now. Um, let's throttle up. In fact, let's throttle all the way up. My bridge is falling. And see about... 200 meters AGL. Getting us to... Um, the polar ice caps here. I think we're going to be alright. This time. Um... Yeah, we got a lot of Delta V left here. I think if we target, maybe if we throttle up just a little bit, there, that should do it, I would think. Okay, so we've done one of these thermometers. There's like six of these on here. Um, we might as well do a second one from here. Oh no, we got all of the data with the first one. So we'll hit upper atmosphere and lower atmosphere on the way back in. Um, I am going to ditch this stage a while so we don't have to deal with it later. All right. And surface sample. From the polar ice cap. Alright, let's get back on this thing and recover you. Uh. Okay, we are heading back down into the atmosphere now. Roughly, kind of. Um, we're almost in the atmosphere. There we go. Now we are in the atmosphere, and I can do another one of these temperature. I can actually get a science junior now. Excellent. Yes. Science junior. So. All right. Are we still on target to land? Oh, yeah, we're definitely still on target to land where we want to land. All right. So let's fast forward a little bit more. Let's see, where haven't I been yet? I don't know. Where haven't you been yet? Uh, let's pull up the science archives. Uh, click on Kerbin. Let's see here, apparently I've landed on the mountains. Got five reports from the shore. Got one report from the shores, the water. Let's go to the desert. Let's shoot for the desert. All right. I should be on pretty good target here to land fairly close to the actual North Pole. <laughs> I would think. Um, there's not really any indicator of where that actually is on the map, but I ought to be fairly close to it. Mm-hmm. Definitely going to land on, like, the ice fields. Uh, we're slowing down rapidly, which is good. Um, I don't think our, you know, our landing gear probably aren't going to explode. Shoot deployment unsafe. Yeah, I kind of figured that. And I need... Let's see if we can log one of these temperature... We cannot forget we the can. heat shield. Yeah, you don't want to forget that. That would be a that would be a bad time. Yes. All right. 
We have passed the burning reentry point. And um, now we are coming back in. Oh, that's a big nose cone. I need a smaller nose cone. I almost need to put the other parachute. I almost need to put... I know the regular parachute isn't enough with a science junior. Uh -huh. But does it affect... With that, if you have the capsule without the nose cone, does it affect you all that much? The capsule? In terms of no, aerodynamic. I don't think it affects you at all. But okay. I, I tend to just still put that parachute on anyways. All right. All right, we can deploy our chutes now. Um, I'm going to log another temperature here just to be safe, make sure I got this one. I don't... <coughs> okay. Um, our chutes should be coming out any time now. Well, there they go. Excellent. Now we can put our landing gear out. And we're approaching this blindingly white surface here. <laughs> like, is it like straight pure white for you? Yeah, it is. You may have your brightness cranked all the way up, but... I don't mess with any of those settings. Um, I guess it could be the ambient light thing. Yeah. I'm messing with it a little bit, but I kind of doubt it. It only really seems to affect things at night. All right, so we're going to launch. Like I said, we're going to head for the desert now, so which means we're going to do a... I forget what the term is for a backwards orbit. I mean, we're not going to do a backwards orbit. We're going to basically head west Yeah. after you're launch. Good. You're going against the rotation of the planet. Yes. Hey, it's Hudrig back again in the cockpit. Oh, yeah? Yep. All right, throttle full. Bildy. Range is clear. Staging is good. Parachutes check. Launching. Excellent. Um, we are coming in ever so slowly. 1,200 meters. And closing. What's it say if I observe a materials bay here? Flying at Kerber. No, never mind. Have we not done this while flying at Kerber? We haven't. Well, well, why not? Let's do that. Let's observe this one. Have we done this one while we're flying at Kerber? Apparently we have not. Let's do that too. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. 900... Come on. Let's let's land, please. So we can get our science and go back and see how much we got. I feel like it's going to be a lot. Well, relatively speaking. Mm -hmm. Shit. No. Come on. Did we ink? Oh, okay. Slow down. All right. Good. Good job. Just stay like that. <laughs> good job. Good job, Hudrig. I take it you had some troubles. Ah, uh, the gravity turn went a little bit farther than I would have liked, but yeah, yeah, I I did a I did a loop again on this flight. Uh. All right, we're down. Man, this surface—it's so white it looks untextured. Honestly, Why? yeah. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, my rocket now is just wanting to point straight up. And I can't... Do you have fins? No! I don't this know. This is... Okay, let's rotate nine... Let's rotate 45 degrees here. This is really fracking with my trajectory. Okay. Um, now the tricky part. Like, I really can't... Raise Explain this really. Leg. Bonk. Excellent. All right. Um, now we can do an EVA. Um, we can do an EVA report from here. We can store said EVA report. 
Um, and now we can let go and fall face first into I, what I swear is untextured. Uh, who, who thought people would go to the poles? Why bother texturing that? It's like the random trees you find in the highlands. Okay, are we going to be able to grab back onto this? Probably not. Okay, well, that's fine. We can recover Bilby. Bring Bilby back. Bilby brought back 12.2 science. And then we can go to the tracking center and we can recover the rest of our ship, which brought back 64 science. Excellent. All right. This was a very bizarre launch. We got another and, 92. And I'm out of fuel. That is really weird. I can't... <laughs> huh. So the question is, do I go for advanced rocketry or do I go for electrics? I'm thinking advanced rocketry. And then we'll get electrics the next time around. Well, no reason to have this stage on here. So we'll let that go. Yeah, let's get um, advanced rocketry. That leaves us with another 45 um, to put towards electrics, I guess. Now, I am like barely over the continent. This is weird. Yeah. I'm barely across the continent, which is really weird. Let's see what the tracking station says. So here, we'll do mystery goo. Well, it doesn't say anything because I'm in the future, so it thinks you've already hit the ground. <laughs> I've got some debris. What do I have? Oh, there's some debris at the pole. From North probably po your ship. Probably. Recover. <laughs> it was just random debris. Mm. There's still some other debris somewhere. Where? I don't. Well, uh, maybe it's just confused. Well, my my last stage is kind of floating off right now. <sighs> yeah, I'll just speed this up. Okay. Well, we need temperature data from the area here so we can do oh shit apparently um Actually, apparently th there was a little bit of re-entry there that we had to worry about <laughs> just a little bit yeah all right i've got i've got some thoughts here now i'm gonna go to the space plane hangar and we're gonna grab up Command pod. And we are going to let's see, what can we do? Um let's put one fuel tank. What's the lowest powered motor we have? Looks like a nine oh nine. All three of my parachutes went off with a thunderous roar. Okay, so let's put a 909 like that. All right, now we need Science Juniors. Game will not let me, like in two times time warp. I mean, I didn't hit the... All right, we've got some science juniors. Let's get some mystery goo going like so. And then we'll get some thermometers. There we go. Like so. 
Now you said landing gear, huh? Yeah. Landing gear will make a decent I don't know, actually tire. have landing gear. Mm. <laughs> um, let's just let's save this as weird rover. Let's see if we can unlock the landing gear. <laughs> Landing gear, where are you at? Here? Maybe? No? Here? Here. Here. I can't. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that, I guess. <laughs> um, so we're going to do... I guess, um, something different. Here? Ah, here we go. I got, I've got a plan. Dan has a plan. It's not a good one, but it's a plan. It's Kerbal. The plan doesn't need to be good. And I am a hundred meters AGL and slowly floating down to the ocean. And we'll call this a quasi success. <laughs> Maybe that we got science. Everyone lived. Well, I mean, surviving no. is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. Kerbal Nation wasn't on edge throughout the whole mission. My ship just tipped over. Uh, all right, so let's see here. We're going to get reserve us some mystery goo in the water. Ah, crew report from the water. Hey, I've never done a... Apparently this is a crew report in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> Apparently all of our Kerbals went missing again. Take surface sample. Some of which have decided to be KIA. Um, I, don't <laughs> understand. I don't understand. Uh, you've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. That was our 12 science. Excellent. And All right, then... we're going to take um, a pilot, I guess. I am not even going to attempt to get back in the capsule. I'm going to recover my Kerbal Knot, Hugdrig, or whatever his name was. Uh, save. Launch. I'm going to recover my other ship. Hendrick earned 15 signs on his own. Yeah. Yep, and we will recover the Mintaka rocket. Log temperature. Yeah, 22 science in there. Ah, so the question is, is we want to do this again and figure out what the hell went wrong or what? I suppose we could attempt it again. You know what? I hit well here. Here's what I'll do. I'm, uh... I'm rolling a command pod around the space center. Ah, you're that desperate for science. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aren't you? How do you do this? Do what? How do you make a roll? You just attach two uh, things two together. Two command pods together. Yeah, pretty much. And use SAS basically. Yeah, I just attached two together and slapped a bunch of thermometers on them. I don't have the thermometer yet. I'm going to take my... Uh, I haven't gotten the uh, Science Junior in space yet. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Actually, I haven't done it from the... from the. I haven't done your standard uh, from the ramp and Oop. from the... Something blew up. Wasn't mine I don't, this time. I don't know what blew up. I think I knocked off one of the thermometers, which apparently blow up in a big explosion. Yeah. Thermometers have a tendency to do that. I guess. I 
Because the science complex has a bunch of biomes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, every single, like, individual building has its own, in the science area, has a biome. Interesting. Did I just... No, it's just taking its sweet time. It's lagging. Why am I lagging? Who knows? All right. Well, this should be the VAB, I would think. What the frack? Come on. Come on, KSP. Okay, a log from the VAB. And whatever is going on, I am lagging like crazy. A little bit of frame rate issues going on here, but not a lot. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually just gonna recover. Maybe. Maybe. I think we might have crashed. The or, server may have. No, the server seems to be fine. But uh, I can't recover. Although, I didn't really get any science from my rolling around adventure. <laughs> like, I got, like, one science from that. I don't know why I should have gotten more. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do something else for science. Um, 47. What can we do with 47 science? Let's load up our... I just recovered your craft from the uh, VAB. Really? Yeah. And it I wasn't got... there for me. I got 0.8 science. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's load our biome hopper here. And let's see what we can do with this guy. So we've got 4,800 Delta V. Let's use our toolbar thing here and get our life support build aid up. And see what we've got here. So we've got three days of food, water, and oxygen. We've got, we've only got an hour and 57 minutes of electricity, which is not enough at all to get anywhere meaningful. I guess we could try and slap batteries on to see what that'll do for us. Um, hmm, why don't I must we have... bring this down? What's up? I didn't get credit for the materials lab in the water for some reason. Oh well. I don't know. Yep, my game just crashed. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, it's modded. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so let's see if we can add some battery packs here and see what we can get this up to. So if we let's do a four-way symmetry. So that's one day. Um That didn't really seem to add very much at all, actually. Five hours. Two days. Three days. How long do you think it takes to get to the mun and back? Um. Without landing on said mun. Hmm. We could do what real ass what real NASA people do and like do the math. Well, I could, yes, but yes, I I don't see it taking more than. I don't think it would take like. For some reason, three days seems long. Well, maybe we'll find out whether I can. Do it in three days. Yep. 
If not, whoever I take with me is going to die. Now I just got to figure out how to get enough Delta V to do it. <laughs> Which is where the real problem is going to come in. Um, Alright, so let's take and... Pull this one off. And then let's take a look at our engines. Alright, so we've got this guy, which has 400 Delta V, and this one, which has 390. So I guess we'll take this one. Alright, so then we'll need a decoupler. There we go. Okay, now our lower stage kind of lost a lot of Delta V doing that. So, we should change some things around here and add... In fact, let's just scrap this lower stage and start over. Alright, so we've got this guy. Or we've got this guy. Let's go with this one. Okay, so we've got that, and maybe this, and then let's put um, one of these on here. This is a new one that we just unlocked. Um, it's the Maverick 1D. It has 350 maximum thrust with 355 ISP. So that's going to give us enough thrust to weight ratio on that stage for 4400 delta V. So let's attach another decoupler down here. This is going to be a really tall rocket. Um, so I don't think I have any nose cones. What are nose cones even under? Uh, aerodynamics. We do have a nose cone. I could, we could do something a little bit different here. Um, let's take this decoupler off, I guess. Um, let's see it. Let's see about adding. Two of these guys, maybe one. And then these ones. That's 5,400 Delta V. Any idea what the total amount of Delta V needed to get to the Mun and back is? <laughs> According to that little, like, subway JPEG. Uh-huh. As soon as it enlarges here. Let's see here. Curb to look curb in orbit is 45 hundred up to the mun you just want orbit right uh-huh now uh, that's another uh let's see here it's another we'll call that it's about another uh, 1200 or so uh and then don't know what it is back i mean i'm assuming it's it's not double but to get out of Right, it's not very much to get back, yeah. I don't think. So I've got 6,000. Mm -hmm. Assuming everything doesn't go wrong. That should be plenty. So um, I'm going to... We're going to save this and... Oh, here it says it actually gives you... Um... Mun Orbiter. Yeah, a Mun Intercept is eight hours. Interesting. Okay, well, this is probably yes. more than enough then. Okay, we're going to call this the Mun Orbiter. Um, we probably don't actually have time to do this this episode, so I'm going to save this for the next time. And um, we'll give it a shot, see what we can do. Um, so if you like the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for a more Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. Bye.